All right, guys, today we have the Tag Hoyer Carrera. This was sent over by Richard at Saltzman's in Rhode Island. My preferred authorized dealer for Tag Hoyer, of course. And this is a new model from Tag. Uh, it's a big, long part number. There's the big, long part number right there. I'll put it down below, too, as well as a direct link. The retail price, $3,800. They'll probably give you a deal. You tell them, hey, I was watching Random Rob's video on the Tag Heuer Carrera. Twin time, they call it, this guy here, because it is a GMT. And he said that maybe, Richard, you'd give me a, a good guy discount sort of thing. I don't know. Give it a try. See, see if it works. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let me know if you do. Pick one up. Follow up with me. Let me know how it went. Um, I've personally bought watches from Saltzman's many times. Uh, all of the authorized dealers that I show on the channel, guys, I personally have bought watches from all of them. That's why I'm so happy to do videos with them now because of the level that I'm at. Um, it's nice to have that relationship. But before the channel even grew like this, I was already working with these authorized dealers, Saltzman's and all the other ones that I work with. So um, it's, of course, like, that's why it just works so good. It's organic. So uh, they're great people. They're great uh, authorized dealers. So um, case width on this guy is 40.8 millimeter. They call it a 41 millimeter. I'm fine with that. We're really close. But just so you know, it's a little under. The lug to lug is a 47 millimeter. Absolutely love this case shape. And check out the finishing on this. Very nice, deep brushing, sharp, polished edges there. Other than the dust. Um Beautiful blue, dark blue dial on this thing with a two-tone chapter ring, kind of an AM, PM situation going on here. Date at the 6 o'clock, keeping the balance of the dial. Like I said, lug to lug is 47. The thickness, only 12.5 millimeter. You have a double dome sapphire crystal with AR coating up top. The lug opening, 21 and a half millimeter. I know. Like, what do you, Tag, come on, what are you doing? I mean, their bracelet is really good, so you probably just wear it on this anyway. But I don't know how difficult it is to find a 21 and a half millimeter strap. Um, but I'm sure they're out there. It's just, <laughs> it's not going to be like buying a 20 or a 22. It's just kind of a weird size, but they did it anyway. It does taper down to 19 and a half millimeter. You have half links on either side of this simple fold over clasp, but no micro adjust. So it is signed with the shield, but just nice symmetry to the clasp when it's closed. You have a 6.5 millimeter crown on this guy. It is uh, just a static one here, so you can just wind it in the, the first position when it's pushed all the way in. Um, the water depth rating on it, ah, uh, shoot, I didn't write it down. Does it say in the case back? 100 meters, okay, that's fair. This is the caliber seven, is what they're calling it. You can see it's kind of an elaborate grade. It's got some detail work, and of course they have their own custom rotor. I did take a peek up there above the escapement there is usually where it's printed on the metal. It's a Salita SW330. But of course they've, you know, tuned it up a bit, did their rotor on there. Um, you know, it's a it's a great looking movement. Great performing movement. And even in the winding position, it almost feels like they're you're you're not doing anything almost. Like it's just you can feel a little bit of resistance, but not like you do like on a SW200 or even an ETA uh, 2A24, it's just incredibly smooth. So like this, you can tell like this is a little bit higher end pick. Just because it's a Salita SW330 or an ETA whatever, um, there's different grades from the, within that caliber. Probably like, I don't know, seven different grades. This is probably one of the top grades. I don't think it's classified as a COSC, so it's just below that. But if you look at the dial here, beautiful blue dial, nice clean hands, applied markers. You have the indis or the um, loom is out on the outer port part of them. It's not in the indices. I'll try to do a loom shot here in a moment. GMT hand, red tipped arrow, applied tag hoyer shield for the branding, framed date window. Nice smooth, like almost like Frenched in or whatever you want to call it where it's not protruding up like the markers. That's how you'd frame a date window, guys. Um, I hate to pick on Seiko, but Seiko is one of the ones that it seems like they're, um, and maybe 
some other brands too. I don't want to just pick on Seiko, but when they frame their date window, it's just like they take this frame and they just kind of toss it on the dial. This is how you frame a date window. That's the proper way to do it right there. That looks clean to me. This is a Traveler's GMT, meaning, um, excuse me, Caller's GMT, meaning that when you adjust the 24-hour hand, it's a forward only. So if you go backwards with this, then it'll uh, just adjust the date. So that's a Caller's GMT, that I guess is what we're calling it. But it does give it a quick set date, which is convenient in many cases. So don't sleep on that. Don't think, don't get caught up in the, um, the hoopla of like, no, you got to have the, the quick set, you know, hour hand, you know, for traveling. It's like, well, most of us don't travel that much. And quite frankly, most of us don't need GMTs, but we like to have that fourth hand on there. Um, so our, sometimes it's nice because we have a lot of watches to have that quick set date. Otherwise, you got to do some, you know, wizardry, like quick adjusting with the back and forth with the hour hand to adjust your date. This one, you just, boom, you're good to go. Back in action. Let me pop this on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. You can see how much room there is there. You could probably go up to over eight inch wrist if you needed. But perfect, perfect size for me personally. For my taste, this is the perfect size. Now we just need an orange dial one. They'll never do it. They do have some really good orange dial watches, but they're in the dive series. I don't think they'll ever do a Carrera orange dial. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but probably not. All right, let's turn off the lights and check out the loom. Yeah, so a lot more real estate on the hour and minute hand. You can see those pips. They definitely glow. You can see them uh, on the outer perimeter. Once my eyes adjust to the light being off, I can see them a lot better, but... Um, good clean everyday type watch I think is where I would classify it can it can play dual role it can it can be more sport or it could be a little more dress it all depends on how you're dressing that day again big thanks to the entire crew at Saltzman's Rhode Island link in the description tell them I sent you see you on the next vid